A green plastic water can Perfect Chinese rubber plant And a thick plastic glass I've been asked to speak here today on behalf of Tibetan youth across the world, but most especially on behalf of those Tibetans still inside of Tibet. Like all of you, I'm here today because I'm free to be. There's no one who can tell me where I can or cannot go, nor what I can or cannot do. For my people, the people of Tibet, Freedom is a cherished thought, but it is only a thought. All of the things that they desire most are kept from them, and yet they have not given up hope for their freedom. It is this hope which the Chinese government fears most. They recognize both its power and its momentum, and they know that they have no control over it. They have seen what has taken place in countries like South Africa, Eastern Europe, and most recently Indonesia. In these countries, it was the people's collective hope and fundamental belief in their freedom which toppled even the most powerful and ruthless regimes. These were clear victories for humanity which demonstrate that the same can and will be true for Tibet. But Tibetans cannot do this alone. We have to show them our support for their struggle. We have to show the world that young people believe in the ideals of nonviolence and compassion that the Tibetan culture is based on. Perhaps more than ever before, our world needs Tibet. In an age marked by increasing acts of brutality and violence, we need the principles on which this peaceful and compassionate culture is based. And perhaps more than ever before, the Tibetan people need you. They need your energies, they need your talents, they need your hope and your freedom to ensure that they are not forgotten. There was a time, 10, 15 years ago, when people said to us, it's over for Tibet. Don't waste your time, Tibet is dead. In those days, we had a hard time filling up a room of people for Tibet. And now, I'm talking to a freaking stadium. I believe in the impossible, because when I was an undergrad, I was involved in the anti-apartheid movement, in the movement to free South Africa. And in those days, the cynics said to us, you're wasting your time. Nelson Mandela, he's going to die in prison. It's over for him. And today, Mandela is not only a free man, he's the president of a free South Africa. I want to tell you about a Tibetan woman. She didn't get a chance to grow old because she was a freedom fighter and they killed her while she was still young. She was my aunt. And they said to me that before she was killed, her last words were, free Tibet. Free Tibet! Free Tibet! 